every part of my day is magical and wonderful. <sighs> so frustrating. I tell you, so frustrating right now. I am so fortunate and I feel so blessed to be able to do this. I look as awful as I feel. Like I really had a hard day today and I'm really really happy and I just enjoy a few moments of munching sounds. And now she's run back again. Oh, I can't believe that dog. It's glorious. Oh, I'm so happy to be back. Well anyway, there are other days too. Let's focus on the other day. To work now. <laughs> Hi, ladies. Hi, Nuna and Bo. Where's Nuna? Oh. Hi, Nuna. I know. Stop talking. Get on with it. <laughs> so the usual routine is coming here with the car, preparing the food. For the day. Hmm. Laura and Laura. One food. 
Oh, Scoob for Byron. Let's go. Cleaning out the chicken house, topping up the food for the chickens and the water for the chickens. we're gonna feed the cows and the sheep together. Come on Luna! Time for breakfast! No one else coming? Should we get started? Now we're going to see Flora and Laura. Byron, he's a very beautiful boy. Hello, Byron. I got your breakfast. breakfast. Bon appetit. And then we're gonna have a wonderful walk with the dogs. And now, all of the dogs. Hey guys! Every part of my day is magically wonderful. But the most magical part, really, I can't stop grinning when I talk about it, is having these dogs around me. I see them so full of joy and wonder, taking in the world around them. There's only so much words can tell, there's only so much videos can show, but there is really nothing to being here yourself and taking it all in. Stay. 
wish for this moment to never go away But it's all in my mind And though I know that there is nothing to find You're a beautiful sight in the summer night And you can't put up a fight in the misty light streets all alone all you can see thinking about what your life came to be you're a beautiful sight in the summer night and you can't put up a fight in the misty light And we are on our second walk of the day. So this one is dedicated to Bolti. He's 13. So boy. we need to make sure that he doesn't overdo it because Glossy he's boy. very excited and very playful and still a puppy at heart. So usually I take him and Marjorie because she's very relaxed as well with me. Um, and sometimes I take one of the other dogs just to mix it up. And uh, I enjoy these walks. It's usually half an hour, 40 minutes. It's very relaxing. It's the perfect closure to the perfect days up here on the island. Live another day Like the mothers of Brazil find their way We're all on our own But you're the most beautiful I've ever known You're a beautiful sight In the summer night And you can't put up a fight In the mid And now we're going to go out into the dark and feed the dogs. So I'm prepared. Hi guys. Hi guys. You hungry? Yeah, I guess you are. Let's give you something to eat. Yeah, and this is pretty much it. This is how I spent all seven days of my weeks. At least during these three weeks of croft sitting while my hosts are away. So after these long days outside, sitting by the fire and reading, enjoying the peace and quiet, 
no one needing anything from me uh, is simply rejuvenating. And um, then it's time for bed after a long day. So before um, that, I tend to my body uh, and give it some well-deserved stretching and breath work to let go of the active side of the day uh, and slowly, carefully easing into closure and preparing for resting. What yoga does for my body, journaling does for my mind. Through journaling I can reflect on my fair share of challenges and hardships during the day and write down all of the wonder I encountered as well because there is so much beauty surrounding me also. And then there is only one more thing to do, which is lights out and meditating for my soul's peace. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, see you soon. Good night, beloved souls. Good night.